Hello everybody, now I was going to do a live stream today but I decided I, I'm not going to, I'm going to try and play these moves instead, there's a lot of price action to be had here and you know, doing a live stream I suppose is just going to, um, it, could have, it could essentially cost me a lot of money to do that, so instead I would just thought I'd pop this quick video on here, I suppose as a warning, now I already made a video this you know, earlier on today, uh, you know, called you know, clickbait in a way saying get ready for the crypto winter but there's an element of truth into that and I'll show you why so if if you're new to cryptocurrency you know you might not have you might not be aware of what's been going on with cryptocurrency you might have been sold the dream of bitcoin which is perfectly fine I mean it's a it's an appropriate dream to have bitcoin will be worth a lot of money in the future but at the moment it's it's it's, it's pretty much standing on the edge of a cliff all right so in in summary uh, you know this is the time to be thinking about taking your profits because this is where most people including myself have taken your profits this is not your profits something my profits but essentially that's what people like me are doing you know we've been buying at these low levels we've been buying down here in March when it crashed we've been buying here we've been selling here we've been buying here we kind of know what we're doing and when new money enters the market we get excited because essentially what that is doing is it's it's making us richer when you've been buying your your bitcoin on PayPal fair play to you and and good on you and welcome to the cryptocurrency world but basically what that's doing is that's that's adding more money into you know the pool of bitcoin and um, for people like me and others to take out because we kind of know what we're doing and new people don't and you can see what you've done as an investment and I'm sure if you held onto it for a few years it'll pay off but for the moment you know that money that you've put in I've just withdrawn and I'm not going to be the only one. In fact, let me show you something. You know, this is just a very crude and rough and ready indicator of what's been going on just today. Now, this morning, you know, I've been looking at this. Uh, occasionally, I look at this. I do look at other, uh, obviously, indicators that are a bit more technical than this. But this is a nice one for everyone to kind of understand. This is the total longs and shorts of uh, the top three exchanges, right? So this represents people who have or who have bought it and are holding on to it, and essentially are going long, which is also borrowing money um, that isn't theirs from a broker or an exchange um, in order to try and profit from it going up. Now, if it goes down, then they lose money significantly. The shorts, the opposite of that, they're the people who are basically making money on the way down. Now, this morning, this was at 72 percent. Over the, over the course of today, it's dropped almost 10%. Now, that is a big deal. It doesn't do that very often. In fact, it's, it's not done that in a long, long time. It's not, in fact, I don't think it's been this low all year. So, this is a massive warning signal now. To see that drop 10% is a massive, massive warning signal to suggest that there's more people going short now, even though they're still the minority. Um, there's more people flipping from this position to this position and once this position gains momentum so will this red candle this red candle will grow, gain momentum it's not just from people like me that are taking profits from actually owning Bitcoin and selling it it's it's people that have, have who've got leverage uh, who have borrowed money to short that position to drive this further down now on the plus side you know at the moment the move hasn't really happened it's just a little crack um, and if we're above this this little white line here everything's okay to continue up for a little while longer even if we break down beneath there and get supported on this little line here which is the 10 exponential everything is still good to go for a little while longer but if this one breaks especially and we get one of these candle bodies closed beneath here then it is definitely definitely time for this to come down massively and I will be joining the many people on the shortlist um, and I will be trying my hardest to drive the price of Bitcoin down because the further it goes down the more money in my pocket and I won't be the only one like I say there's more people joining that club as we speak they're, they're all they're all jumping on the network of the shorts okay so it's, it's just coming down it's, 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 it's coming down dramatically now so I would I just wanted to warn you all that this is likely now the top and if it's not the top, the top will only be just above here. Um, and I'm not going to put my life on the line and say that's definitely going to happen. But all the indications are saying that that is going to happen. Now there's a few other things that we can look at on this chart to, to suggest that that is what's going on. If we go to a four hourly chart, what we see here is massive bearish divergence. Now, you know, for those who are new to this, 
you know, don't worry. But this is a signal, a big signal, to say that this is this is looking quite serious. So what we have here is we have a higher point here to that to that candle there. We also have a lower point here to a higher part of the price action, and then we have an even lower part here to an even higher part of the price action. What that means is that it's gain it's it's run out of steam. The price is going up, but it actually has lost momentum. And and what is most likely to happen here is a massive drop off. Now there are many supports beneath us and there's lots of different levels that we can talk about. And um, but basically uh, you know we are looking at, at cracks in the impenetrable fortress of this parabolic run now that do appear to suggest that it's going to come down quite a lot. So if we think about where we're going to come down to my first suggestion is that if it did break down significantly below this area here of 18,130 we would be supported a first option at around about 17,000 which is the center of this Bollinger Band. If that breaks down then we'll be supported on this this green 50 exponential at 15,000 if that breaks down we'll probably get a wick all the way down to 13,000 and I think that that would be the lowest we'd look at seeing uh, we'd, we'd think about seeing that. Now I've got reasons to say all of those. I mean they're exponential moving averages, they're trend lines that go all the way back to 2017. They're not just um numbers that I've made up off the top of my head, but it is looking pretty nasty. Now, there is another flip side to this. It could end up um, bouncing and and overshooting and going even higher before it comes back down and what that what, the way that that would happen is that a lot all these dips have been bought you know we've come down and that was a big drop and then we've bought straight back up all the way up here that was dropped all the way back down there and that was bought up and uh, that dropped down and bought up uh, dropped down and bought up but now that we've got the longs and the shorts balancing out a bit and we've got that massive massive bearish divergence I think the time has come now uh, for me to more or less call a top on this one, which is a very difficult thing to do on a parabolic run, but it's not the first time I've called tops on things that have gone parabolic. So it's not like I'm really good at it, but I've seen it on various other assets, and I've called the tops on those, and I think that this is the top. There's so many signs to suggest that this is the top now. So if you're new to this, you know, if you're prepared to hold through the... Uh, the ups and the downs, that's completely up to you and fair play to you. It will definitely pay off in the end. I cannot give you a time frame, but it will definitely pay off in the end. But right this moment in time, I don't think it's going to pay off. All right. So I'm just going to leave it with you there. Now, if you want to join my Telegram, it's just a chat. We're all there chatting amongst ourselves. It's, you know, it's a big community in there now. Um, feel free to join that and we can talk until the cows come home about cryptocurrency and Bitcoin. Um, Otherwise, I hope you have a nice evening and good luck to you, all right? Good luck to you. Because the crypto winter is coming, which is why I've put my hat on. Uh, and I hope you all have a merry, merry Christmas. Take it easy.